Hello, my name is Andrew Perkins, and welcome to part two of my Laravel tutorial. In this video, we'll begin building our application. We're going to be creating a web interface for managing authors and their books. We'll start with just the authors for now, and we'll add in the books later. We'll need to create an authors table in our database, and we'll create that table using Laravel's migrations. Uh, migrations are a way of allowing you to manage your database by writing PHP rather than writing SQL and they also give you a way of adding version control to your database. So to get started with migrations, we first need to have Laravel set up its migrations table in our database, which it's going to use in the background to make sure that the appropriate migrations are ran. So to do that, we'll open up our command line or terminal and then just change directories into your Laravel directory. That's your Laravel application. And in here we can use Artisan to create that uh, migrations table. So we'll run the command PHP artisan migrate colon install and that will create the migration table for us in our database. We can verify this by inspecting our database. I'll use PHP my admin here and refresh Laravel and there we go there's the migrations table. So with that we can create our own migrations to create our authors table. To create a migration, you just run the following command, which is php artisan migrate colon make, and then give it a name. You can name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to call mine create authors table. Notice I separated each word with an underscore. There we go, it creates our migration file. If we go to our text editor, under the application folder, you have this migrations folder to hold your migrations. If we move this out a little bit we can see the full name here so it starts out with just a timestamp of when the migration was created along with the name that you gave it if you open the migration you can see that it's a class with the same name create authors table and it has two methods up and down uh, the comments tell you exactly what these methods should do the up method should make changes to the database so whenever you migrate your database whatever code is in the up method will be ran and the down method should revert those changes to the database. So whenever you would roll back your migration, the down method should undo what you did in the up method. So to do this, we're going to start in the up method, and we're going to use Laravel's schema builder in order to create a table. So we can use the schema class and its static method called create, and it takes two parameters. The first one is what you want the name of your table to be, so you can call it authors, which is what I'm going to use. And the second parameter is a closure, or you can think of it as an anonymous function or an unnamed function. And this closure needs to take in a table object, has to be passed into it. We'll use this table object inside of the closure here as it gives us a bunch of methods that we can use to create fields in our authors table. So the first field we need is an ID field so that we can uniquely identify each user or each author in this case. The uh, field should be a primary key and it should auto increment. So we're going to use the table object and use its increments method. And you just pass in a string of what you want to name the field. I'm going to call it ID and this will create an ID field integer type and it will auto increment and be a primary key just with one method call. Next, we need a field to hold the author's name. So we'll use the table object here and its string method to create a varchar field in our database. And you can pass in a string of what you want the field to be called. And I'm going to call it name to hold the author's name. And then we'll want to hold the author's biography. This is usually longer than a what can be held in a string, so we're going to create this as a text field and I'm going to name it bio for short. And lastly, we'll want to have created at and updated at fields, which will be date time fields. And those will hold the date and time of when the author was created and last updated. And we can do that with one method call called timestamps. There we go. So that creates our authors table in the up method. If we'd want to revert the changes, we would then just want to drop the authors table. We can do that using the schema class and its drop method and just pass in the name of the table you want to drop. 
So our migration is complete. We can now apply this to our database by running the migration. We'll go to our command line and we'll run the following command, php artisan migrate and that'll run your migrations that have not been applied already. In this case we only have one migration so it just runs the create authors table migration. We can verify that it worked by going and checking your database. And There's our authors table and it has the fields that we told it to create. Uh, we can also insert a couple of rows so that we have some data to work with into this authors table. So we'll create a new migration PHP artisan migrate colon make and I'm going to name this migration um, add authors. There we go. And back into our text editor I'm going to close the create authors table and open up the add authors migration. And this time we're going to use the fluent query builder instead of the schema builder. The schema builder is used to create uh, tables and manipulate your tables. The fluent query builder is used for like inserting and doing queries, retrieving data, updating and deleting rows. So we can do that by using the DB class that's all caps and it has a static method called table and this allows you to select the table that you want to use or that you want to be working with. So we're going to be working with the authors table and so we want to just insert into this authors table. We can do that just by using the insert method and we pass in an array here and this will allow us to build out our insertion. Uh, we can use key value pairs for the key being the field and the value being what you want to insert into that field and this will create a new row in our authors table. So we'll want to give our author a name just going to use my name here because I'm original and then give our author a bio and I'll say Andrew Perkins is a really great author and then we need to insert a created at date time I'm just going to use PHP's date method here to insert the current date and time so that's the year the month the day the hour the minute and the second and I'm just going to duplicate this line here and this will be for the updated at field and it'll be exactly the same with the same current date inserted in there so we're inserting one author let's insert another author here so we have a couple to work with and we're going to change this to be let's say author number two and we'll do something similar oops didn't select it author number two is a really great author as well and we'll use the same current date and time so that will create two authors and insert them into our authors table and now if we would want to roll back down here in the down method we would just want to delete these two authors. So we're going to use the DB class again and its static table method to select the table that we want to work with. That's authors. And then we want to delete these two fields. So we can select them by name or bio if you wanted to match them. I'm just going to match by name. So we can select them using the where method. It takes three parameters. The first one is the field so we're going to look where a field name and then comma put an equal sign where name equals Andrew Perkins and then we're just going to call the delete method to delete that row I'm going to duplicate this line and we're going to do the same thing to delete the author number two so in the authors table it'll look where name equals Andrew Perkins and delete that row and then in the authors table it'll look where name equals author number two and delete that row as well so that should revert the changes made up here in the up method so there's our add authors migration we can save the file and apply this to our database so we'll go to our command line and we'll run php artisan migrate 
and the migration has been applied. So if we go and look at our database, if we refresh authors here, we can see we now have two rows, Andrew Perkins and author number two. So what would happen if we would want to undo some of our migrations? Well, we can go into the command line and we can run php artisan migrate colon rollback. And that will roll back the last migration that was ran. In this case, it undo, undoes the add authors migration. So we can check that that worked. We can refresh authors and we can see that there's nothing to browse. There's no uh, data in there. We can also run it again, php artisan migrate rollback, and it'll roll back the next migration, which was the one to create our authors table. So we can verify that that worked. We can look at the Laravel database, and authors is now gone. Uh, so we can run php artisan migrate to run all of our migrations at once. It runs them all, and that will recreate everything we just did authors and it has our insertions here and you can also just roll back everything you can just completely reset the database by running php artisan migrate colon uh, reset and that will undo all of your migrations so if we refresh laravel one more time we can see that everything was undone at once all right so i'm gonna migrate everything back the way it was so that we can use it in the next video. There we go. We have our authors table and we have our two authors. So there's the basics and working with the uh, migrations and using Artisan a little more with Laravel. So I hope you found this useful and thank you for watching.